And now to a developing story. More than a thousand dead fish discovered in Biscayne Bay. Our Louis Aguirre is live in North Bay Village with what's causing all of this. Louis. Well, that is the big question. I was getting DMs late last night, early this morning, of fish gasping for breath, for breath on the surface of Biscayne Bay. I reached out to Miami Waterkeeper, who told me this morning that already they had 18 reports of hundreds of fish showing up dead or dying on the surface of the bay. This is the most reports they've received of dead fish since the unprecedented fish, fish kill of 2020. This is Biscayne Bay screaming for help. But obviously there's been a trigger where we're seeing uh, almost zero oxygen in, in Biscayne Bay, and that is really, uh, you know, an almost an apocalyptic sign for the bay. Another devastating day for Biscayne Bay after more than a thousand fish were reported dead or dying, gasping for breath in the northern basin from Northeast 104th Street down to Morningside. The wildlife is literally suffocating in place. Scientists believe they're looking at the same conditions that triggered the unprecedented fish kill of 2020 when more than 27,000 marine species died that hot week in August. There's simply too much pollution in the bay, and that is leading to um, the conditions where the seagrass starts to die off. And with up to 90% of seagrasses gone in parts of the northern basin, there is little to no oxygen being produced on the bottom of the bay there. And so that loss of seagrass because of the pollution is setting up the conditions that make the bay really vulnerable to these fish kills. Wednesday afternoon at Pelican Harbor, Miami Waterkeeper deploying this research vessel and together with a scientist from the University of Miami began to sample the water to try and pinpoint the source of the low oxygen event. So once again, we're at the mouth of the Little River Canal. This seems to be the conspicuous culprit. This canal consistently has very low oxygen levels because of all the pollution that flows into the bay. We're anoxic. So anoxia means that there's almost like no dissolved oxygen left in the water. It's going to be extremely stressful for uh, fish at this level. Not enough oxygen for them. The alarm bells loudly ringing three weeks ago when water management was forced to lower the levels of all Miami-Dade canals into the bay to mitigate potential flooding of neighborhoods in anticipation of Hurricane Ian. It is the dirtiest water in all Miami-Dade County and coupled with the recent king tides could have created a recipe for disaster. The large volume of polluted water that got discharged when the canal levels were dropped before the storm could have fed into this cycle setting up conditions um, for the bay to be experiencing this fish kill. So scientists caution it's way too early to determine if that was the sole cause of what happened. Remember, we just had king tides. We had a horrible sewage overflow in Miami Beach on Monday. We had heavy rains this past week. All of that is contributing to these low oxygen levels that the bay is experiencing right now. So the big question is how long will this last? Last time this happened, it's lasted about five days onto the week, and then we had that horrible algae flow that happened afterwards. We're hoping that is not the case. We have cooler waters, we have wind, we have cooler temps, so we're all holding our bated breath right now. But one thing is clear, our bay is in trouble. We're live in North Bay Village. I'm Louis Aguirre, Local 10 News.